Welcome back to Cthulhu Saves the World. I'm not gonna go get levels for everyone, cause we're gonna get some in the, uh, in the Astral Cave. But we're getting close. I do want to mention something about the level ups. When we get to level 40, that's when the abilities and stuff stops. After that we just get, uh, stat upgrades. Just the same ones every time. So after that, we don't really need to worry about leveling up unless we want different stats. So, let's go over to the actual cave, because we're strong enough to actually deal with the enemies there now. If the game would, uh, not slow down so much, I just don't know what the problem with that is. We're getting close to the end anyway, so... Eh, whatever. Anyway, first floor is just a bunch of paths that just lead to the end. No need to worry about treasure. I mean, there's one right at the end. No, oh, we need to watch out for a uh, sharp there then. All right. Yeah, I don't really need to worry about a whole lot of this stuff. Let's see, wind strike. Still does more. I was just checking. There we go. Yeah, now we can kill these guys. Look at that. I was looking at some of the other party members thinking if I could swap them out, but... I don't know. October and Ember... I'm sorry. October and Deck aren't doing like a whole lot in the damage department. And Ember doesn't have enough MP to actually be viable in battle. So, yeah. Okay, uh... Nightmare, I think they are dark elemental, so Cthulhu's attack there isn't going to help that much. Holy Strike will definitely help, though. Alright, uh... Yeah, Dark Strike still does a ton of damage, so we're going to do that. There we go. I think we almost have a level for Ember there. Hmm. Hold on. Got lost for a second. I know where I am now. More potions, of course. How many do we have? 47. Nice. Aw, oh, man. Something that do better. Gonna be gonna need to be a bit careful of this. Ooh. Ah, that's magic. How are you doing on levels? Ember's almost at level 40, so. Yeah. Running out of MP a little bit. In some of these battles. Oh, second floor, okay. This dungeon is only two floors, by the way. It is a side dungeon, so it makes sense. Oh, we got a dragon here. All right. But, well, it's not going to be a huge problem, I think. I'm going to try to use MP a bit less for Sharp and Paw, since we are running out very quickly. Oh, wow. Well. Ooh, yes, more strength. Oh, since we have the Thor's thing, it adds electric, so let's do that. And, uh... Ah! Uh, I think we're good on all that, so let's do more stats there. Ooh, let's upgrade Dark Blast, then. 40 strength, yes. There we go. That's a pretty decent level up there. I don't think potions restore MP, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Again, this dungeon doesn't have many chests, but uh, has a lot of widening paths. Hmm. You know, anyway. Uh, 
Alright, uh... Let's see how much it does against... Just, uh, compared to Pierce. Just curious. No, oh, does about the same amount of damage as Pierce, actually. That's pretty funny. So I might as well be using Pierce against them anyway. Oh wow, I got a bunch of winding paths here. A few dead ends. Another dragon. Baby dragon! Now it's more like Thousand Years Dragon, but whatever. Yeah, dragons, uh, can give us a bit of a beating. There we go. Not too hard. Alright. Works just fine. Still kind of want to... We're not going to use that much MP against the boss, I think, but it's good to conserve it anyway. I'm doing a bad job at that. I'm just looking at these attacks like they'll do anything. Might as well. Yeah, whatever. Don't even care about what they can do. Oh, well. That did like half my health. Not really too concerned, though. Okay. And... Nice. Then again, can you even buy stuff anymore? I don't know, actually. Like, is there even a point to... I don't think you can buy stuff anymore, yeah. Interesting. Huh. Well, anyway... Continue fighting these guys and just punch the rest of them because we're slowly regaining MP for everyone. And down here is the treasure slash boss since we all know that's coming. Uh, no. I don't even care about conserving MP anymore, actually. Let's write the boss anyway. Aw, oh, dang it. Alright. That went pretty well, I think. Let's save real quick. And now... Time for the boss. The Master Hill. The ultimate armor, I think, for Sharp. But now, the Black Hole. The Black Hole. Yeah, now we're just getting silly. Rib my might exactly, game. Alright, Thor's Call. Ah, uh, don't really need to worry about Combo Master. Ooh, that's not too good. Well, all right. Um, sharpen. Oh, well, I mean, huh? I don't even need to do anything else, do I? Well, that was underwhelming. But anyway. So here we get an amazing combo finisher. No, absolutely not. Yes. Takes all the combo and uh, puts it into one huge assault, which I am a big fan of. Ooh, death. Might as well do that, just in case. Might be some big ones. Uh, yes, strength and agility. Tons of magic. Why not? Yes, strength. All right, we are actually doing pretty well in levels, almost at the end, actually. Yeah, so after uh, 
level 40, you just get the standard all stats up or max HP and MP up. All that fun stuff. Uh, might as well go heal up at the inn. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. Because where we're going, there's a save point. So there's a hidden mini dungeon with an optional boss that I did not know about. And I knew of it, but I didn't know where to go. Remember all the way back here? Well, if you enter on the west side, it's somewhere different now. The Cave of Destiny. Uh, yes. So, if you played, uh... Breath of Death, another game by the same developer, you will, uh, you'll see something familiar. That's all healed up, right? Yeah. Alright, guys, you ready for a tough boss fight? Let's go, guys. Legendary Hero. It's Dem. Alright, so... The name of this game is getting the combo up, like, a lot. So, Berserk. Uh, what's the best you can do? What can you eat twice with? Not much, I think. Might as well get Thor's Call on there anyway. Combo Master, absolutely. And I think you can just... Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we need to get our combo up, and we need to get it up fast. Because, uh... Oh, hold on. Eh. I don't need to worry about that. There is a reason we need to get our stats, our combo up right away. I forgot I was going to regen all. Whoops. That's what I need to do. Uh, now I don't need to worry about that. Okay, uh, you get Sword Dance. You need to get a uh, regen on, actually, real quick. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, because remember we got Brawn Assault. Look at that. It's already at 25,000. And he still has a lot of health left, so we need to get on that. We need to crack on right away. Prepare. Next turn, Dem is going to kill all of us instantly. So let's not let that happen, shall we? So, if you remember, Yumi has a very good move. Let's do Berserk. Siren's Call. 100% stun rate once per battle. This will stun him and stop him from doing the ultimate attack. And it buys us a few more turns, which will hopefully be enough for us to actually kill him. Yes, now he's stunned. Let's see, 51,000. How's this doing? 42,000. We're getting really close. When we get to 99, we'll definitely have more than enough. Sword Dance. Ooh. That's a tough one. Well... I think it's time to see how good this can get. Now you should heal Cthulhu just in case. I uh, just go wind strike you and backstab I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bam, 62,000 damage. And all that experience. Yes. Uh dark strike's really good. So let's boost that even more. Cute pose. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. It'd be good to have a combo going. So, no. Stats plus 50 is good enough. Uh, yes. More strength. Now, let's do the one group. And let's just get more stats for you. 40 magic, yes. And let's do that. Now, not only does Cthulhu stats raise, but... More party members! Yes! Now, let's take a look at Dem. Wow, look at that. Look at him, he's a skeleton man. Let's see what his equipment is like. Excalibur, wow. 
and armor. Excellent. I kind of want to swap him out for paws. He doesn't have any UD moves with anyone, so don't need to worry about that. Ah, oh, look, he has the same sword as Cthulhu, too. You know, let's go to the world map and see what he can do. Alright, uh... Man, look at that damage now. Slow strike. Wind strike. Let's see what Dem does. Ooh, not only does it hit twice. Multi strike attack stance. Ooh. Has death blow, sword stance, holy strike. And teamwork. All stats plus 25%. Pretty nice. But yeah, he doesn't have any unite. Well, I mean, he's last in turn order, but he doesn't have any unite stuff anyway, so don't worry about that. Let's try this out. Alright. Uh, just punch for now. Epo. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not very fast, though, but still pretty dang good. He looks like he's, uh, we're in a little jumpsuit there. I know it's just a shield. This looks silly. There we go. So anyway, there is another optional dungeon, but if we go there now, we'll die a lot. Because it's essentially a post-game dungeon, and I will not be going there. If you want to watch someone 100% the game, go watch someone else. Because I'm going to go straight to Relay and, uh, never come back. Yes, Relay. Ah. Listen to that jamming music. Well, anyway. I think it's time we take a little break, because, uh, I haven't gone through this at all in my practice file. Plus, you know, good to have a short for you once in a while. So with our new skeleton companion, yeah, let's uh, you know, we're have a fun old time here in Relay. We're gonna stop the uh, Lovecrafting horse from taking over the world and uh, be a true hero. Still would love that original ending though. Anyway, see you guys next time.